Okay, let's talk about our rear track width. So your rear track width is basically gonna determine how hard or how easy it is for your go-kart to lift weight off that rear inside wheel when you're cornering. So the wider your track width, the harder it is for your go-kart to lift weight off that rear inside wheel. And the more narrow you are, the easier it is for your go-kart to lift weight off that rear inside wheel. So say you're at a race, there's a lot of carts out there dropping rubber on the track, or you've got a brand new set of sticky tires on, you're probably gonna wanna be able to have a wider rear track because you're just not gonna need as much help getting that jacking effect to lift the weight off that rear inside wheel just with all the extra grip on the track. And on the other side, say you're at a track early in the morning, say it's kind of dirty on the track, there's a lot of dust, or you've got an older set of tires or a harder compound tire on, you may want to have a little narrower rear track width just to help get weight off that rear inside wheel when you're cornering. So to measure your rear track width, what you'll do is you'll grab a tape measure and you'll put it in through one side of your axle. And I've only got one wheel on, but normally you would have both your both wheels on. And what you would do is you would actually measure from the outside of your wheel to the outside of your wheel on both sides. So you'd wanna measure from the outside on this side to the outside on that side. And that's gonna give you your track width. For the class we run, and I think it's probably pretty standard. It's roughly about 55 inches is the max width that you can run. So how I make this change, let me pull this wheel off. Let me pull this hub off. And what I did is I grabbed a pipe cutter and I went and I cut five mil off both sides of my axle. And then I bought these spacers, and these spacers come in all different sizes. And after I cut my axle, what I did is I made sure that if I had my largest spacer on here, and you just slide your spacer into your hub, and then put your hub back onto the axle. With my largest spacer in there and my cut axle, I know that's the, the widest track width that I can run. So it makes it real nice and easy when I want to increase or decrease the width of my uh, rear end. And with the harder compound tires we've been running and without a lot of carts on our track this year, I've actually chosen to go with a seven mil spacer and a five mil spacer. And that's putting me at eight mils narrower on each side than my full rear track width. And I've done that simply because we're running a harder compound tire and we don't have a lot of track, uh, carts out on the track laying down rubber. So I've, I've done that to give us a little bit of uh, help lifting that rear inside tire when we're cornering. I highly recommend getting these spacers. They make it real nice and easy to make these changes. Um, makes it real quick. Um, for example, I've got the, the two in there now. Say I wanted to increase it just a little bit, I could slap that in there and then just go ahead and slide this on and increase my rear track width just a little bit. If for example, we're, we're jacking a little too much and I need to go a little wider, you can just add spacers or remove spacers. Makes it a real nice, easy change. So it's something that uh, you'll definitely want to test to find out where your cart likes to run. And depending on the tire compound you're running and how many carts are at the track, you'll be able to find a, a rear track width that works for you. But I definitely highly recommend getting these spacers um, I've loved having them and not only do they help you with your with measuring For example, if we didn't have any spacers in here and we put our hub on We're actually just gonna have to slide our hub out and tighten it down and there's gonna be a gap in here in between the end of the hub and the end of your axle so say for example you didn't get your hub tightened down hard enough this hub could slide in on you while you're out on the track and completely throw off your setup. So not only do they make it easier to measure the width of your rear track width, they'll also prevent that from sliding on you. So you just slap those in there, you put your hub back on and you're good to go. Butt that up real nice and tight, tighten it down and now you don't have to worry about your, your hub sliding in on you. I highly recommend getting those spacers. Definitely go out and test this change. It's real quick and easy. Find where your go-kart likes to run and have a good time at the track.